Well, I guess I'm having a lot of fun with making this video, so here's another one. That line segment formula that we learn from the book and generalize to um, interpolation methods. So here's two points I randomly created using Mathematica. And here's the formula, 1 minus t, and t multiplied in front of those two position vectors picks up those two points at the end points, uh, end value t equals 0 and t equals 1. So that's what we calculated in class. So that's linear, so it's going to go through um, those two points. So here's an, uh, those two points, visualize, and that is connecting. So I made a little animation down there. So if you um, change those t values there like this, and you can see as t varies, this position vector starting from the origin there, ending at the r position, looks like this. Uh, you can see the t value varies. So here's one example that is not two points. So we have these three randomly generated points, and these are the shape of the coefficient that we play around. This just distributing the factor of 1 minus t and 2 minus t and t appropriately. And as we go through from t equals 0, 1, and 2, it picks up this a2 and b2 and this cc vector in, uh, in turn. So um, this coefficient is a square, and there is going to be a quadratic a curve passing through all these three points we have chosen. So here's how the formula looks like. This is the x component and here's the y component. So if we use this idea, if you plot it, you see this um, it's not necessarily contained in one plane, but it is uh, three points that the curve is passing through. So here's another one that's showing that if I vary these t varied values the position vector starting from 0, 0, 0 is going through this parabola between 0 and 2 like this. So I pushed it further just um, to see what it happens. I've never done this before. I tried the 10 points right there. So here's the 10 points randomly generated. I created this coefficient. It's the same thing. It's just uh, each of the coefficient missed one factor and you have to just take care of the denominator like this so that when you plug in the values, it picks up exactly one, like we did for linear and quadratic case. Of course, the formula is nasty like this, but it's mathematically computed it. And then uh, I plotted it, I zoomed out so that I can see the entire shape the, of the poly, um, parametric equation I created, and it's all these 10 points are clocked in, inside there. But this parametric equation, the curve had to go outside like this, to turn back in, and here's a zoom in picture, and all the 10 points gather around, and it was starting from right there or ending right there. I don't know, but it go through all the 10 points. I think somewhere about there it ends or starts from there. So, this is I've uh, never seen this before, never seen this before. The 10 points um, interpolated in space, so it's Lagrange interpolation uh, version for um, number of a finite number of vectors.